Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of July 26th through August 1st. Let's tap into your energy to see what is coming up for you on the week ahead. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you as always. I will link here your three-month forecast that has been out for a while, July, August, September. Um, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views gets a bonus live reading where I do take super chat questions. I will be going live this week for a few of the signs that will get love readings. I will also be doing bonuses from time to time. Again, I do take super chat questions if you guys are interested. So here we go. Let's start off with the week ahead. Eight of wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six of Wands. Okay, your outcome over here, the Wheel of Fortune, but let's continue. Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Cups in the Lover's Card. There may be some confusion in terms of communication between you and a partner. Um, it just feels as though some of you have had a bit of communication. Confusing times is what it feels uh, also, I feel like some of you are starting to feel confused about a connection, a partnership, whether or not this is going to grow into what you wanted. I think you have some ideas of what your future looks like in general. Some of you have a, an idea of what your future looks like with this particular partner. If I recall, your last week's reading had something to do about you being the one that puts in the most work in this connection and them falling short. So at some point or another, you just are like, all right, let's clear up this confusion. Let's let's try to work this out and figure out if we both do want the same thing, if we both are on the same page. And maybe one of us just wants to be a little bit more ahead than the other. Uh, things will absolutely change for your highest good. When the wheel of fortune is there, it means it's the end of a rough patch, the end of a rough road, the end of a cycle. Sometimes we are forced into this new chapter, this new phase of your life, this new connection, whatever it is that's on the other side of what's been going on, tough times times or miscommunication or confusion that is coming to a halt that is coming to an end I also feel like you're starting to feel more empowered about how you have been feeling and the disappointments that maybe you've been having and others of you I feel like you really need just some clarity within a partnership relationship marriage uh, you're not quite sure if I feel like some of you are just like, they keep saying they want the same things as me, but what what they're showing me as proof, what their action looks like, isn't necessarily up to par with what they're saying, and therefore it brings a lot of confusion. Um, but your outcome, oh yeah, and you've got double Scorpio here, so you may be dealing with a Scorpio. You also have Gemini, uh, Taurus, <clears throat> And okay, so nine of coins, uh, Virgo energy as well. Listen, I feel like some of you are going to be at a crossroads in terms of things are about to fall apart at work, in your love life, in your marriage, in your connection. Some of you that have been single for a long time, you start to realize that you've been in love with or you've had feelings or you've been wanting a connection with someone in particular. And so the shocking truth is you start to question, why are you still single? You love this person, they love you, you should make it work. Um, and it is 444 in the afternoon. So take that as a sign from the angels. Look up the meaning of 444. Now, Others of you, I just feel like you have been fighting through a lot of the fog and confusion and trying to be in a better place for you in this marriage or relationship, for some partnership in business. Uh, I feel what I've been feeling for Aries for quite some time is you've really been trying to sort out your life. And I'm not saying your life has been in the dumps or that it's been awful. I feel like you've been maintaining a pretty good amount of stability and um I just heard the word resonance. So however this is resonating for you, 
Um, you know, in terms of, okay, I've got all my ducks in a row. I know where I want to be, what I want to do, where I want to grow, what, who I want to grow with, what I see for my future, my next, you know, three to five year plan. And what was I expecting or anticipating for myself three to five years ago? Am I on par or on track for that? And what's to come for me? Because I feel as though I should have grown more in certain areas or that maybe your partner should have put more work, more energy, more effort into this connection. I feel some of you have been feeling that type of disappointment. Some of you have been having this uh, intuition, like this gut feeling that your partner has been hiding something. Again, I, I will clarify that for those of you that need clarity. I, I just feel as though you want to believe what they say. You want to believe them when they say they want the same as you. But again, their actions are not showing <laughs> what they say, right? So their actions need to match it up is what I'm seeing. So for some, the tower comes, falls apart, and it propels you towards your destined path, uh, destined path. Uh, career, partnership, business, relationship, whatever it may be for you. Remember, this is a general reading, so apply it to your situation. Others of you, I feel that things start to change within your home or your business or relocating or whatever it may be, that it brings a shock to this relationship. If it needs you to be a part, if some of you need to travel for work, it's almost as though it kind of wakes your partner up, you know, like, to make them realize what it's like for you to not be around, for you to be absent from their day to day in terms of communication or seeing each other every day. In other words, I do feel for many of you, there is this resurgence, this picking up, you know, uh, turning a new leaf on your relationship, resurgence of love, your priorities, your boundaries, all of that needs to be into play, cutting out the confusion and, you know, finally, listen drawing the line in the sand and saying i know what i want you say you want the same things but i have yet to see you work towards what we say we want i'm doing my part i need you to do yours i need you to step it up it's it's hard to believe someone's words when the action does not match so what's the future here Three of Swords, Knight of Coins, and the Magician. Uh, there's a bit of a disappointment, exhaustion, depletion uh, financially. I feel like if you've been the one that carries this connection, this relationship, you've been paying the bills, you've been maintaining the household, you're the money maker, the breadwinner of this connection. I feel like some of you are just overworking yourself to the bone, or perhaps your partner is, and Okay, what I just heard for some of you, maybe you feel like your partner isn't doing enough, but the only way they know that they, that they know how to prove to you that what they say they want with you long term is if they freaking work their asses off to bring about that sort of abundance or money or whatever it is that you want like for example you want to buy a home they take up a bunch of different jobs to try to bring in as much money as possible you want to renovate your home you want to buy a new car um there are things that you want materially or you know in terms of financial stability that maybe your partner hasn't been able to provide for quite some time they feel like they're behind on it and now they're trying to do everything they possibly can to come up winning financially especially if you are the breadwinner if you make more they feel like they need to be able to keep up with you they're also afraid of you almost thinking or seeing them uh, in terms of you're you're not bringing enough to the table emotionally um, and that's what I want. And, and they're feeling depleted because they're trying to bring in both. But right now, they can, it's like they can only do one thing at a time. Uh, so there is a need for clear communication when it comes to this, whatever it may be with the magician card here. I feel that there is so much that's, that's about to be manifested for you, okay? Now, this right here, resurgence of love starting over again right look at the birds the white rose 
going back to the beginning, remembering what it felt like when you first started together, when you first started dating, when you first started, I feel like some of you need to date each other again, reconnect on an emotional level, uh, especially if the two of you have just been working so much. And I feel like at some point, you realize you miss each other. Things are definitely changing for you. Um, it's going to take some adjustment. It's much, much more uncomfortable and difficult for some of you. But again, with this magician card, the life that you want is there for you. I feel that um, what you're feeling is that because things may not be unfolding in your exact way or framework that you have in mind, it feels as though you're not getting to that point of manifestation that you want, be it money, business, love, relationship, home, family, whatever it may be. Take a moment to really reevaluate the situation, what it is that you want and where it is that you are. The path in between, you don't need to worry about. If you've seen that there has been growth and progress, the, the, the lesson here is the universe saying, listen, we know what you want. We're trying to help you get there. You're holding us back by expecting us to work at your timeline in your way of understanding. When in reality, they're like, we've been showing you signs of what we're doing and everything and anything that we've been trying to do to get your attention, that we had to shake things up to get you to realize we are moving you forward. We are propelling you forward. So for those of you that feel that your partner may be hiding something, Let's clarify that. I don't feel, I feel like some of you feel that they're hiding something from you in terms of um, not being completely open and honest. I feel for some of you, uh, what they're hiding is how depleted and exhausted they are trying to maintain and keep up with the lifestyle that you really want. And I feel that they feel like they're about to lose you if they don't maintain that. So pathway whatever it is that you want for yourself the future you see together the growth between the two of you I feel like they're trying to figure out how their way of doing things can align with yours if they feel depleted exhausted frustrated annoyed um I just feel some of them are feeling just very very tired and exhausted I, I feel like that they have not told you yet because they don't want to upset you. Um, you need to kind of shift your perspective of where they're coming from. Uh, for the ones that don't resonate with that one more. So okay. So the main female community imprisonment and bad health. Um, what I'm feeling here is that some of these, so, something that they may have hidden or they may they may be hiding is how they're starting to feel trapped, how they're starting to feel overwhelmed, depressed, how they're starting to feel like um, they need more advice from a group of people, their friends, their community, their coworkers, whomever it may be. I feel as though someone here may not want your partner to reach out to a female that they're friends with or a, free, a female in their life, like a female friend, a female a coworker, family member. Um, I, there's, there's something there that really bothers you about their connection or their communication and you're afraid that they are speaking to them. And I feel that they are. I don't feel it's anything romantic. For those of you wondering if it's something romantic, no, it feels more like this is someone that they know that they can speak to without any type of bias. They can get like straight up without feeling like they're going to be a burden without feeling like they're going to be judged. Please don't take this personal. I feel like even though you say, I don't do that to them, a part of you may snap at them and really get them back into their shell. So be careful of that, okay? So that's what I have for those of you that are worried about your partner, you know, holding back. Okay, so what is give Aries some advice here before we move on to the Oracle. 
the devil card. Be careful again. Be careful with the, um, you know, possessiveness, controlling, manipulative, um, wanting to hold on to this partnership a little too tight and, you know, sh calling the shots in terms of who they can speak to, who they can't speak to. That's going to backfire on you. You know, some of you have tried to do, and I'm going to call you out. Some of you have tried to do, um, you know, work. I'm just going to call it work. Those of you that are familiar know, some of you have tried to do some sort of binding work, um, you know, wanting them to never leave your side, wanting them to never um, leave you, be interested in anyone else, all eyes on you type energy, very domineering, dominating type of work. Like this person is never going to leave you. Be very careful. When you do that type of work, my opinion only, take it as it resonates or you know do whatever you're gonna do I'm not gonna change your mind it's your life if you do any type of work to try to keep someone who doesn't want to freely be there with you you're not always going to have this beautiful sunshiny outcome so be careful what you wish for be careful what you try to do you may end up with someone who is at odds with you with themselves who ends up being a very bad partner in the long run, who is still trying to heal themselves and figure themselves out as a whole. It does take a certain amount of strength to deal with this type of energy. So be careful who does this type of work for you. If you are the one doing the work, who you are working with, in other words, okay? So just be very careful of that. Um, be very specific on what the outcome or what it is that you truly want. And please don't do any type of practice work like this in the heat of the moment when you are angry, when you are feeling super emotional. What you are feeling at that moment may not be what you truly want long term. Okay, so definitely sending you the energy of healing and clarity to help you figure that out long term okay and when i said that the card of discernment came out so again if you've done any type of work to help keep or maintain a specific partnership maybe to uh keep people away from this partnership so that you can basically keep this person all to yourself um card number 10 just like the wheel of fortune use the 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 energy of discernment and getting really really clear about what it is that you truly want and did you did you wish for more than you bargained for uh were you not clear enough um i feel like this isn't for everyone aries i feel like there is someone here who did some sort of working that is backfiring on them and that you're saying that's not what i wanted and this is like going downhill super fast okay so definitely maybe get some maybe get a reading from someone do some clarity work to help clear your mind of you know any type of blocks energetic blocks also be careful of psychic attacks okay one more card i know that doesn't apply to everyone Oof. again resistance that devil card in the resistance not wanting to budge wanting it your way or the highway please aries be careful do some inner work some shadow work not because of the other person but for yourself you need to be careful when you're holding on to something too tightly you're not allowing the universe to work for you in a positive way you're creating much more resistance uh, in honoring yourself and you know it shows the universe that you don't trust them to give you what it is that you want and maybe you know what you want but what you realize is maybe it's not the person that you want maybe you will find it in someone else so definitely the card of trust my readings have been going on too long this is going on 20 minutes sorry i gotta end this here aries definitely be careful of what you dabble with who into whatever it may be let go of the resistance that you have to change um oh gosh i am sending you so much love i feel like some of you are also feeling a bit angry and depleted because of this this feels like just be careful it may have backfired from some of you especially if you have somebody else doing the work for you okay or maybe this is your first time doing something like that sending you so much love take care have a wonderful week ahead bye